Right in Nederland tonight, a family there still rallying around an eight-year-old girl. She got hit while walking across the street by Bulldog Stadium. This happened about a month ago. 12 News reporter Jordan James followed up tonight to see how she is recovering. Jordan? Kevin, this is a crash that's difficult for the family to talk about. They're still shaken by what happened. Thankfully, the eight-year-old is home from the hospital. Oh, girl, you're going to be busy all evening. You sleepy? Aria Mitchell has had some sleepless nights as she recovers from a crash in front of Bulldog Stadium on May 6th. Still emotional when I talk about it because we could have lost her. Linda Reber is Aria's great aunt and says she cherishes every moment with her. I just started praying, asking God to take care of her and to heal her and, and to do the things that need to be done. The second grader was hit by a car crossing 21st Street. Aria ended up with several fractures to the face, including a broken nose. She also lost a few teeth. I don't think it was intentionally done at all. In fact, I know it wasn't intentionally done, but it was just an accident. No charges were filed against the driver. Police are calling it accidental. Now this family is left wondering how they're going to cover medical expenses. She's a single mother. She can't do it all by herself. Aria's oldest sister, Rayleigh Mitchell, admits the family needs help. I personally try to help out sometimes when I, I you know, make a little bit of money. Just making sure she gets everything she needs would be really, really great. While most of Aria's days are spent inside of the house, she still manages to find joy in the little things. Somebody, somebody wants you, you to, to get, get well. well. By reading hundreds of cards sent to her by classmates from Highland Park Elementary. How'd you feel reading those cards? Good. A child of a few words, but grateful to be alive. On Saturday, they are hosting a benefit for Aria at the Nederland Market Basket starting at 10 in the morning until they run out of food. Jordan James, 12 News. All right, Jordan, thank you.